This time last year, I was getting offers from different airlines. Now, I can't even get one to employ me. Hmm, I was working and there was no time to pay anything. That's something a jobless man cannot really do. Ah, uh Sheto! -uh, one million naira! Ha <laughs> ha! Spend him! My money and all the G's, okay! We don't have enough time to make this marriage work, besides. I don't think I'll be a great mother. You are yet to recover from last night. I'm very naughty girl. Imagine how I felt when you DM this morning. I was just like, like she's here. You know, she's the one. How old are you? Wait, are you old enough to be <laughs> Of course. During Ever After is brought to you by Tal Rice and the generous donations of viewers just like you. Words. Were you not the one asking what? You are yet to recover from last night, Abby. <laughs> I wanted to finish you. I was happy I impressed you, Sha. <laughs> Mr. Shetan Root. <laughs> you impressed me, Dad. I know that. Get up. Let's go and work out so that we I can impress you some more. Oh my goodness. Do we have to work out? We can just stay. Come on. <laughs> You're a naughty girl. I know your plan. <laughs> I know your plan. <laughs> but Shemi, you're the one that said I shouldn't take it easy on you. I mean, with the workout, too. <laughs> uh, you're the one always saying it now. And SR, SR, I need to get snatched now. You. SR, you don't support me. Oh, yeah. Get up. Get up. What perfume did you use? Hmm? What perfume did you use? It's the same perfume, man. <laughs> You should have had your bath instead of spraying so much perfume. Madam, calm down and breathe. <laughs> breathe. Mm. Oh, is this the effect of yesterday? Wow. I must have really exhausted you. You are all that I ever wanted. I am so sorry. Hi. Hi. Um, what are you doing here? Um, most of the delivery guys had left the office before your order came in. And there was no one else to bring it, right? Well, it's a Saturday. Most of my staff have the day off. Hmm. You say so? Thank right. you. Um, you have a stain. Yeah. Thank you. I was actually baking, so I'm just going to go back inside. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to go. All right, that's, thank that's you. All. I need you going to get your money. The truth is, this is my first time making a delivery. What? I, I usually don't do this. I just needed to see you. You didn't leave your number when we met at the restaurant. I tried to search for you on Instagram, but I didn't even get your full name. So imagine how I felt when you DM this morning. I was just like, like she's here, you know, she's the one. How old are you? Look, age is just a number. Wow, deep. I mean, did you see that on Twitter? Wait, are you old enough to be on Twitter? <laughs> of course. I'm old enough to drive, even. <sighs> Look, this says March 20th, 1995. You can check. Mm. <sighs> um. I just want to drive you somewhere. Anywhere. Okay, just one date. Doesn't matter where. <laughs> There's something. I know. Uh, proud much? <laughs> What's your sign? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Are you 18? 
I mean, I hear that Gen Z's are into stuff like that, so I just wanted to see. Right, it. you just wanted to see how mature I am. Abby? Yeah. I don't believe you. In fact, I need to see your own license. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Can I do a transfer? Um, okay, how about we just let that slide, okay? And you consider me driving you somewhere. It's oh. one date. Send me a DM. Yeah? Mm hmm. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna go back to. Ah, yeah, me too. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So, that's the support. You are supporting me, Abby? I know. I'm eating so that I can have energy to cheer you on. Okay. Go, Elsa. Eat, Elsa. Shut Five, up. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> six, seven, eight. Day by day, those voices keep to loud. I feel late. I will not be late in Jesus' name. I God forbid. Sleep. You will see me now. You will see me now. Sleepy, sleepy. I hate you. I love you too. <laughs> Even though you snore. I don't snore. Mm. Tell that one to your toasters. They've not been married to you for for six years now. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to hang out with Eric. Oh no, you're not hanging out with me again. But well, you don't love me now. Oh no. You don't love me. Let me hang out with people that, that care about me and that really love me. You put it, when, you, when you marry a fine boy, you not get used to him. You not be doing shakara. Eh? Fine boy, no people. Me that they are, they, are <laughs> they want to kill. In the... <sighs> they have a sound sleep. <laughs> Grace. Anyway, I will greet my girlfriends for you. Bad like that. <laughs> you are. Yep. So how did you get into cooking? Mm. Funny story. Yep. And people say funny story. It's normally a great story. No, 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 no. For real. This, this is good. This is good. Trust me. Right. So we we'll rewind a bit. Um, about three years ago, family Christmas party. Everybody's there. You know, uncles, aunties. You know, that, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Right. So my uncle, who's a chef. He invites me to the kitchen, you know, just so we can have a discussion. Um, I'm there, and I'm watching how he's putting everything together, and I'm like, wow, I really like his creative process. There was just something about, you know, how he held the knives, how he was chopping stuff that I really liked. So I helped out, you know, I chopped a little carrots here, diced a little meat there, you know, and um, I mean, even though I broke a couple plates in the process trying to do imagine. dishes, um, I really did fall in love with, you know, cooking. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I knew it was going to be a dead story, but I understand. <clears throat> I get the point. Wow. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> when it's hard to focus, Lord, with many voices speaking. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not as bad as you thought, eh? You cook very well. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm good company. Company is fair. No, you, you can say it. I'm good company. I'm, I'm, I'm amazing company, okay? Come on, say it. Right. You are just okay. <laughs> just okay, wow. Uh. This can't happen anymore. I mean, there's like six years between us. <clears throat> um, it's not realistic. Look, 
I understand your reservations, okay? But I really feel like we can be a thing. A good thing. Look, I have my standards. I, I'm setting my ways. Look, I, I don't care about all of that. It really doesn't matter. My alarms. Thank you. I swear I've missed this time with you, man. Man, now you don't get my time now. You don't be now. Be? It's okay. You're a big boy. Who I be? Who I be? are the small ones? <laughs> <laughs> my guy. Man. <sighs> but have you told her about it? Uh, <clears throat> I don't lie to you, my brother. No, I've not. What? I'm just waiting for the right time, you know? I'm waiting for the right time, guy. You know, with grace, you have to be very strategic. Mm. Tell me. But. This one, this one, gone gone is a good thing. I mean, with the current state of things in Nigeria, anybody will kill for a job in Canada. I thought so too. Talk less of the one that you have. Are you sure? Me, your guy, I feel kill for that job. Are you sure? Mm. <coughs> 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 I'll <fine. coughs> you good? Are you sure you didn't poison my drink? I swear. <laughs> if here you are, be. Are you okay? <laughs> are you scared? <laughs> Anyways. Um, <coughs> It's obvious that you don't know who Grace is. Mm. Grace, Grace is one of those people that uh, it's like they've sworn never to leave Nigeria. You serious? Ordinary vacation, wahala. Not now talk of relocation. <laughs> she would rather use bitter leaf to drink a <laughs> <laughs> No, no, Grace. Oh. Yo! Mm. Man, but have you prayed about it though? <laughs> well, I. Honestly speaking, I, I've been doing that, but um, uh, let's just say I'm dragging my feet. I'm just dragging my Why? Feet. Guy, you don't understand. On one hand, this job is good. Like, the hours are great. Fact. Trust me. But on the other hand, I really want to be with Grace. Mm. Man, the earliest part of our marriage, I spent that doing my own thing, you know. I really don't want that again. She felt really lonely. Mm. I don't want her to feel that way again, man. I feel mm. Guy, you don't know Grace. So Grace is passionate about this country. Very really? passionate. Ah! You know, her business is here, her family is here, and she has this dream of revolutionizing the business sector, you know? This in Nigeria. She'll be like, Hey, Sheto, if everybody leaves Nigeria, who will now build the country? Beleo, <laughs> Martin Luther Queen. Oh my, oh my, she really talk like that. <laughs> oh oh man, but on the serious note, man, you need this job. I know. And she can work from anywhere in the world. She you could tell her. Because it's, your, it's sweet in your mouth. And she you just tell uh -uh. <laughs> Talk of the devil. I mean, talk of an angel. Uh, why? Hey, Grace, babe. What? Hello. Hello. Hello? Yes, sir. Relax. Is everything okay? I need to come home quickly. Something happened. Oh, okay. I'll be there. I'll be there. You good? Man, guy. Guy. I have to see you later, man. You know what? Thanks, man. Let's go. Let's go. Later, man. You know what? G. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Would you like to be the first to see a preview of next week's episode of Journey Never After? Before everybody else, yeah, all you have to do is follow the link on your screen and you'll be the first to see it. See you next week and don't forget to subscribe. You were all that I ever wanted. I was all that you ever needed. We were two. Call us of the same hearts We should vows To never break our hearts But those days are long gone We made a wrong tone We can't find our way back The butterflies so all gone From top to bottom We're slowly burning out And now I'm stuck with you, there's no getaway I call With you and you do the same But I keep hearing this voice whispering to me In my head, saying I
During Ever After is brought to you by Tal Rice and the generous donations of viewers just like you.